we would like to thank all of our patrons for your continued support. Pretty nice, eh? Very, very, very peaceful night at Anchorage here at Little Cabrillo. No, Little Cabrillo or just Cabrillo Beach? Cabrillo Beach. Little Gibraltar off our port side. Um, this place is heaven. Definitely the best Anchorage we've found this side of Catalina. My wife suggested it. We will be back here many times. I would probably come here over any other anchorage other than Little Harbor. Um, Steady's telling us about people on shore trying to protect us. Steady stuff. And uh, yeah, it's it's so nice here. Hook held great. We have like five scope out. We're in like 17 feet of water. Our stern anchor is like kind of right by this big rock behind us. Um, we held good. Our friends who we were going to hang out with today, um, last night, I don't know what time it was, maybe 9 o'clock, it looked like they had, like, their stern anchor had slipped and that the um, tide had spun them around because I noticed their anchor light was, like, I just glanced out the window after we were already going to bed and their anchor light was, like, in a different position, which I was like, oh, no, did we move? Do Are we dragging? So I ran up and looked out, and they had spun around the opposite direction. So obviously they had slipped their, their stern anchor had slipped. Um, and then um, they, they ended up hauling up and heading out. So we'll have to holler at them, see, see if they're all right, see if they, everything was cool. But So now, just about to have some breakfast, relax. We're going to stay here all day today and tonight. And then um, hopefully this afternoon we'll get some diving in here and scrape the bottom a little bit. Um, other than that, we're just gonna relax. And I'm super stoked. This place is amazing. So Steady let us know that he is ready. <laughs> we're gonna head ashore, let him get some exercise. It's beautiful out. The sun's trying to come out. This anchor just perfect. suited up for a dive here at Cabrillo Beach. The dog's worn out. Um, there's some, there's a family rock diving right now. Which may or may not be smart. Um, one kid did it, he came up, so I guess there's that. We're gonna cruise around this point here, underwater, and uh, see what's up. There's been a lot of fishing boats over there, so I'm guessing there's a lot of fish over there. 
So it's time for us to uh, get suited up and get in the water. It's beautiful. Sun finally came out. The viz looks crazy. You can see the bottom. So um, we're going to dive right off the boat, which is so cool. The underwater visibility was not great on our dives on this trip. And while these sites didn't have nearly the abundant sea life of some of the other sites at Catalina Island, we did come across a number of schools of fish, both medium sized and small, hanging out in the shallows around 20 feet, tucked between the rocks and the seagrass. We also came across a few Gorgonian sea fans, which are incredibly beautiful to see in person. As we were making our way back towards the boat underwater, we came across an octopus's den. Surrounding the hole were litters of his conquests. Camille did her very best to lure him out, but he wasn't having it. A good friend of ours, Tim, is an incredible macro photographer for underwater life. Recently on a visit to Tritea, he was telling me about large stretches underwater that look like there's little or nothing to see is the best place for macro photography because there's tons of life if you just slow down and take a look. Keeping that in mind as we swam slowly across the sandy bottom, we came across what we are calling the ray event. As we swam over the sandy bottom, we saw probably 20 to 25 rays total. Once we got under the boat, we came across a sea star having an afternoon stroll on the bottom of the sea. After checking that our stern anchor was secure, we swam over underneath the large rock that the family had been diving off of to see what was below. We confirmed that there are no dangerous rocks under the dive site and that the water is deep enough for safe diving feet first at least. Had a nice little dive. Um, not a lot to look at here, but There's things. we saw some cool stuff. Came back, scraped on the bottom some. Boy, it was gnarly, gnarly down there. Crazy stuff living on the bottom. But it'll help us with our speed going home. Now it's time to, uh, well, we washed our hair, got all the trail mix from the bottom out of our hair. And uh, some of that stuff was really cool though. Yeah, it was crazy. It looked like M more elaborate than the stuff you see at the aquarium. Now it's time for us to take a nap. Nice and sunny here though. Beautiful and warm. But yeah, sleep time. How's it going? Lazy day. What are we going to do now? Mm, we're going to be. Collect firewood. Might have a fire tonight. It's getting a little bit 
cloudy out. After I say Jaws, you can go in. Yeah, oh yeah, we'll do fun sound effects. We'll do it. That's right. Always. See ya. What are you drinking? Jaws. Bum bum. Bum bum. <laughs> bum 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 bum. How is it? It's really good. It's really good. It's a you, rice lager. It's clean. Just do your beer review? Mm hmm In this setting? It's so beautiful here. I can't wait to come back and bring friends. Yeah, it's gonna be amazing. For sure. Next next month we'll bring friends. Camp out. It's gonna be rad. Steady's ready. Get that life jacket. For you. tonight and the, there's fire pits here on the beach I have a little saw it was on the boat um, we talked about bringing firewood and just spaced it because we read that there were fire pitch on some of these beaches so uh, I'm gonna go try to find out some wood Camille has fresh corn we're gonna grill might cook some food up here on the beach and just enjoy the boat in the sunset so um, I bet all the good firewoods like picked over here but uh, I'm gonna try to forage for some Lots of jade and wild fennel everywhere. It smells like licorice. There's some more jade. See how slippery it is?
Steady. You're fine. He's fine. He's a little jawbone. Cool. Whose is it? Probably a fox. Play in your pocket. Good work, Steady. Good boy. Drop it. If you throw another one down, Steady will grab it. Family effort. Don't chew it apart. We gotta burn it. Drop it. Grab it. Steady, get it. Grab it up. Grab it up. No, that's... <laughs> So we got some firewood. It's time to carry it all back down to the little fire pit and uh, get things started. It's going to be nice to have a fire on the beach. Who's out there, Steady? Steady, who's out there? Look, who's out there? Here's our pile of firewood. I'm gonna get it in this fire pit right here. We're gonna chill out for a while. Just ran Steady real hard at the Frisbee. Camille's back at the boat getting all the food prepared so she can bring it out and Roast some stuff. I'm just gonna enjoy a fire on the beach here at Petalina Island. Time to start fire. Might need some of that paper bag. That's why I brought him. I love it here. <laughs> you growing up. Why? Good work, Jayfred. Paper's kind of wet, I guess, from being on the boat. Huh? Yeah. He's lighting up, though. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please give us a like, subscribe, and leave us a comment. It helps us a lot. Thanks again to all of our patrons. Your contributions help us get the boat ready for big things. Until next time. <laughs> so we got some firewood. Uh, time down to...